Um, this is the mini light box, and it's made by the American Printing House for the Blind. Um, it is designed to help teach basic visual skills as well as like more complex visual motor and visual perceptual skills. Um, it is around nine and a half pounds and which is a little bit lighter. I know it's much, much smaller and lighter and easier to carry, which is a great advantage than the original light box that is so la large that comes in a large suitcase. Um, I really like this one, but let's take a look. So it's got a pretty easily found on off switch. Um, this is where the AC adapter goes in and then it requires, if you want cordless, it requires six D batteries um, to do without the adapter, which it does pretty well. It's just sometimes it makes kind of some buzzing noises, but um, they run around $460. And the really great thing is that um, you can check these out from most regional or instructional material centers. Like I know being in the state of Alabama, we have access to the um, AIDB, the Alabama Institute for the Deaf and Blind, and they have a regional instructional materials center where you can just go and make a request for a teacher um, or for a student. So, okay, and there are other, some other visible things about it. It's got a button on each side that you can push in to adjust the height, just whatever your student needs. Um, so we're gonna leave it right about here for most of the things. But like I said, here's your on and off switch. And then this little knob right here, which is a pretty good way to do it. I'm kind of glad it's not buttons that you have to push. Um, just goes from lightest, well, all the way to the most bright light or contrast, but there's that kind of noise it uses. But so you can get it to be a little bit more dim if you know you have light sensitivity or just based on each eye disease and what their unique needs are. Um, let's see. So we can also use it to help with visual tracking. It's pretty good. It just puts light behind an object. I'll put different things on there with my students. Like I know we'll do just um, object identification. Uh, it does really well when you have clear things that the light can shine through or things with sparkles that give off light. Um, I used it with some different textured items. We had shiny and smooth um, with one of my new students. And um, it just seems to draw, I have a student with septo-optic dysplasia and it just really seems to draw her attention versus um, presenting an object on a dark background. So um, let's see. One of the things, products that I've ordered to go with it that I really like, um, they're called the swirly mats. And they're really great for using during a functional vision evaluation. Um, it helps with measuring or just, you know, evaluating the activities that you do when you're checking for the student's ability for location, fixation, activation, um, even shift gaze, um, but also with color discrimination. It's, it's a great thing to do. But so our swirly mat set, it comes with three and even though, even if you know your student's color preference, I would still try them all because I had one really surprise me. But this is great for like cause and effect. It's really good for kids with cortical vision impairment. Um, and kids also that have autism. And I kind of put those two together because they share some similar characteristics, but it's very good for cause and effect. You can use it for shape identification with the hearts. I have one little girl who we have to push the circle first, then say the number. So we touch first, then say it. One, then we try to move it so it's out of the way. We don't count it again. Two, three, four. And that helps, and they love watching the stuff and just squeezing it. But it's a neat thing to do with um, more light, for sure. It really kind of helps them watch it and see the different things that happen when they push it. And I had one little girl who she really wouldn't touch anything, but this, we, I finally got her just to imitate, like, push, and she would do that, so that was good. And then the third one it comes with has more reddish-orange with the yellow. 
um, which is good two colors to put together for the contrast. And I like this one because it has the fish in it. And most children know what fish are, whether it's because of goldfish or, you know, just from fish gummies or fish things that they play with and stories that we have. But it's just one good thing that you can use to kind of help get some interaction and student rapport. And um, then the other thing that I ordered that goes really well with this are it's a pack of contrast overlays. I don't know if you can see them, but there are different colors in the um, contrast. I have to find my blue. Here we go. And um, the transparent overlays are perfect for the mini light box because that's the size that they are. But then um, they can be used to help promote light awareness like with, when you have a new student and you're trying different colors to determine if the student responds more to some colors than others. Um, this was extremely helpful for me this past week with a new student that I have. Um, one of the things that helped a lot was to put the blue and the yellow together to help them see, um, to watch for tracking. So I kind of took them and put it actually so I went left to right but um and just kind of used the yellow and kind of dragged it over to see if she would watch it um and she really did it was it was really neat and she loved it and then the other thing that I did was she really really liked the blue and the red so she was nonverbal. so we did I just kind of took it and I went real real slow and I said blue up and then I stopped I'd say blue down I move the blue down. And I said blue left. And I move the blue over to the left, blue right. And after doing that just a few times, she was very, I mean, fixating on it for quite a while and just really wanted the light turned all the way up, but I tried to keep it down a little bit. Um, she started singing blue up, which was awesome um, because she has not really been using any words to communicate unless it's just screaming. But so the red and the blue were my two that I was most successful with to get a response from her. Um, they also give you a green and they give you a soft, like just clear, non-skid, so it's not slick, so that you can use it to put like objects on and they won't move. So it'll kind of, well, they're not supposed to move. So it'll kind of hold them for you so they don't slide off if you do have to have it elevated a little bit. Um, you can also write on the flip plastic sheet like if you want to practice writing numbers or letters and then they have this one that kind of helps to know if a child has you know sensitivity to glare so um and that's pretty much it uh let's see so i guess the major advantages to the light box would be um that to me that it's just much more easy to carry places it's not as big you can set it right in your lap. I mean, it fits right in my lap very well. And um, I think it just helps with the functional vision evaluation. It's a great tool to have for that. Um, a disadvantage would be if a student is seizure prone, you just need to be cautious with presenting items or displays on the light box that move in a rhythmic patterned manner because you don't want to like start a seizure. Um, check and you can just check with your student first and obviously know their medical history but check examine the light box for flickering to guard against any kind of seizure stuff so like this one obviously kind of has some issues when you turn it up some of them the older they get they probably flicker the light does too kind of like our fluorescent lighting so um i i love it i want to look and see i know there's a curriculum that goes with it um trying to think of what it's called, but there's all kinds of additional things that you can get to help um, do lessons and evaluations. And it just helps with so many things like with attention, localization, um, color discrimination, visual memory, um, tracking light. I don't know. I mean, there's so many things that you can use this to do. I think that's why I like it so much. Thank you.